I don't know if you guys been getting this, but my recommends are all there's a Japanese beekeeper that kills hornets with sticky paper. If you add this guy in your fucking recommends on YouTube, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've had I've had fifty of this videos. Like it's mental. Like giant hornet versus Japanese honeybees. Outsmarting the giant hornets. Beekeepers' innovative methods to protect beehives. And the thing is, as well, I can't make out if this guy's like the Japanese joker of of bee beekeeping because on the translation in the thing, it it, it, it says quite explicitly that. You shouldn't kill hornets. It says they're a vital part of Japan's ecosystem. And while it's okay to protect your beehives, you shouldn't be... But he's just... He's fucking doing them all, mate, this guy. He's like the fucking... The Dharma of the fucking hornet world. He's the Zodiac killer of the hornet world. He's out there murking them, torturing them. And it says you shouldn't. I'm trying to figure it out, like, what he's up to. But, yeah, it's mental. Konnichiwa. Shumatsu Yuho Channel no Yuichi desu. Right, and they're, they're the hornets, yeah, you, you've seen them. Right, and what this is a common problem when you're a beekeeper, you guys won't know. You you guys won't know this because you've never been a beekeeper like me. But obviously wasps do this domestically in, in Britain and moths as well. Particularly one of the problems we've got in the in the beekeeping world is this thing called the Varroa mite, which comes off moths. It's a little mite like a sort of bed bug that uh it gets in if a moth nests in a hive or comes into contact with the bees the mite transfers over and uh basically it's vamp it's a vamp vampiric because mites are kind of like miniature ticks and it drains the blood of the bees and then it fucking uh the bees start the bees are too small a moth can live with the varroa mite bees can't and so they die you can tell when your hive has a varroa mite uh, infestation because they bees remove the dead so they pile up bee corpses outside the hive and you have to destroy the hive ultimately there's i mean they've, they've got better with it now you they've got medication you can put in there and stuff to try and kill the mite but generally what we used to do back in the day you had to isolate and and destroy so anyway wasps will do this in the uk wasps will just come into a hive and just they go straight to the brood box uh, if they can get in and they just eat the larvae and so hornets like to do that it's a ready supply of food and obviously hornets are bigger now you'll notice the 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 size of the entrance there is specifically designed so only honeybees can get in so the hornets can't get into the hive whereas again it's very hard to keep a wasp out because they are only slightly larger than than honeybees but uh yeah oh yeah sorry a brood box for those who don't know when you have a beehive you have two bits right the brood box is where the queen lives and lays eggs because you don't want eggs in your honey right so you have a brood box and how you make sure the queen lays the eggs in the brood box and not in the second part of a hive which is called a super s-o-u-p-e-r you have a, a a queen excluder and a queen excluder is a metal mesh that is of a certain size so the queen can't get through because of her enlarged thorax a large abdomen area so basically they can't get into the super and so all the spare honey they make goes into the super all the honey they need for the brood is down in the brood box and so you can safely take the honey out of the super without depriving your bees of food that's how that works so anyway just so you know but anyway yeah so you, you there's a lot about the design of beehives uh which is designed to keep out predators and stuff like that so but anyway yeah what just look at this dude i saw that net. there it is you can see mm. releasing the pheromones which they do that it's little bum bums doing this and then it puts it over its head 
This will attract other hornets in the area. ミツバチの巣を集団で襲って中のミツバチを全滅させて幼虫とかを運び出す巣を恐ろしい巣バチですこの巣箱はちゃんと対策がしてあってこの入り口の部分がケツで大巣バチが入れないお金を得られることがあ
He's like Man, checking out his homie. Skittle. Yo, we gotta go, man. Oh, yeah, to do was follow the B, CJ. And then he's like, hang on a fucking minute. Now the the the, the seal team six that were trying to breach the hive. They're like, oh okay. All boys are on the roof. We better see what's up with that. So they start coming up. Do you see that one? That's how quick they are. Look at that. And then look, see, I'll get you off. I'll get you off, blood. I got your blood. Fucking hell, it's sticky blood. It's sticky. They sound like fucking lawnmowers as well, mate. That's how you know they're big, like. And then he goes, right, there's three of them there. Surely I'm the one that can help. And then, uh oh. And I think this one really fucks up, if I remember rightly. I think he tries to bite the glue off and just gets his face stuck there. Yeah, here we go. And then he's he's got the worst because he's got his lips fucking stuck to the fucking thing. There, ah, oh, he's down, he's down. He's lipped himself. He's lipped himself. He's stinging himself. He's panicking. He's lipped. He's lipped it up. And now you just got now you just got this horrible fucking nightmare happening, like. Like I can't help but feel sorry for them, like. And then look now now surely right. Mr. Japanese beekeeper, sir, you have absolutely illustrated your point. By the way, he has multiple videos of him doing this, right? You've made your point now. But look, still there with a the t-shirt, loving it. Yeah, look, the pheromones will keep attracting on. So he's just, right, we get it, mate. You can turn the video off now. You can stop killing them now. But no, he doesn't. He doesn't stop. Look at him, hands on his hips, actual Chad pose. Look. He's licked himself as well. Oh, you, once, you, once you lip yourself, there is no escape. Once your head's stuck to the thing, you fuck like. It's like Takeshi's castle. You know? Like, you you got to keep moving. you just got to keep running. Oh, here we go. Right, this is Bravo team. We've uh, we've had a distress call from SEAL Team Six. Responding, responding. Uh, help, mayday, mayday. We appear to be stuck. Ah, it's a trap. It's a trap. And then you would you would think now, right? You would think now. Yes, he fully lipped himself. You would think now, right? Like, I don't know, like. I, hornets have to be smarter than this. Like, I don't feel like bees would fall for this shit. Like, look at that poor bastard, like. Even, look at him, taunting them. Taunting them. And he's trying to justify it. And then look, they are a native species of Japan and play an important role in the ecosystem. Stop killing them then, mate. Like, you can stop now. Like, wick, wicked, wicked with the sticky paper. Like, you have, you have, you have done a good one, but no. He doesn't stop. He'll never stop. Look, and though this method may seem cruel, it only targets hornets that are attacking bees. I mean, it doesn't really. You stamped on that one guy and then made him call out to all his homies. And then look, I'm just going to leave it in case. And then look, the next morning. Let's have a look. The hornets are still coming. Yeah, because they're still calling for help. You can't have it both ways, mate. Look at this. These hornets are from the same colony, attracted by the pheromones of their comrades. It's a little bit mental now, isn't it? Surely it's a little bit mental. And some of his own bees. He even goes on to say, he even says, yeah, some of my bees died, but that's just the way it goes. The whole point was you were trying to save the bees. It's fucking, he's the Ozymandias of beekeeping. He's fucking, yeah, we had, to, we had to lose a few along the way. You know how it goes. Fucking ridiculous. So anyway, I, I've been recommended this guy's video non-stop, like, like non-stop. Like, I just keep getting recommended his stuff, and I don't know why. That's that's what I do on a night. You've just basically 
somewhat creepily, this is that's what I do when I'm trying to get to sleep. So you've had you've had the lying awake with Richard experience. <laughs> Come back here and make trouble again. Eh? And make trouble. What does it all mean?